Hello guys, my name is Kamana Kane, and today I'm going to be giving you a book review on Discovering Min Mission San Carlos Bodomeo del Rio Carmelo. So, <clears throat> if you don't know what a mission is, um, a mission is basically, it's a kind of church where, um, like, Native Indians, Native Americans get converted into Christian um, faith, so I'll tell you more about that later in the book review. So, this is a mission that I picked, um, and I actually read the whole book, and it, it was kind of interesting, but there was some information that did not need to be in there, but I just really like this mission because of its beauty, but now it's like, like before it was in the middle of nowhere, like with some hills, and it really just, I loved its beauty, which was on what, which was what on the, was on the cover of the book, yeah, but now it's like surrounded by bu buildings. So, there's usually three phases of a mission. One, when it's first being built and it's finished. Two, when it goes into ruins. And three, when it's remodeled and built. So, the remodeled and, and um, built, for, um, like, kind of um, module is today. Because a lot of people work to rebuild the missions be because they were back in ruins. But now we could go through the missions and um, we can explore what the native... Um, Indians, Mission Indians did before they were in there. Alright. So, I really like it because of its beauty, all the flowers. I really like the architecture, not everything being even. Like, one tower is giant and one tower is small. I like the arches, and that's basically Mexican um, architecture, which is like red tiled roofs, adobe brick walls, and ar a lot of arches, verandas, and patios. So, there's a lot of this included in this mission, and also a bunch of other missions, because there's a bunch of arches in a lot of these missions. Because Mexican architecture was really popular back in the day, and it still is today. So, I'm going to be talking about the who, what, where, why, how, when uh, things about this mission. So, there were two people that were mainly um, included in this book, Discovering Mission San Carlos Bodomero, blah, blah, blah. So, the first person I want to talk about is Fray Sierra. I think that's how you pronounce his name. And I'm pretty sure it is. So, he founded a lot of missions, including my mission, San Carlos Bodomeo del Rio Carmelo, which was the actual second mission to ever be founded. And, um, there's some reasons why missions were built. One, because, like, usually you can travel to a mission in a night or day. And, well, some of these missions were too far apart. So they had to build a mission in front of them because if someone was traveling across the um, across the state, California, with only just a horse, they'd had to make stop it, stops. But if they traveled by horse across the whole country for like 21 days and even more, like almost a whole month, they would have nowhere to stop. They'd have to gather like a bunch of food, a bunch of water before they went. And even if they ran out, they had nowhere to get them. Except for the ocean, which, you know, is, is kind of unhealthy to drink water because that's Every single fish go in the whole world goes there, goes to the bathroom there, people swim in the ocean, and it's just really dirty because there's a bunch of, um, there's just a bunch of stuff in there, there's just a bunch of jar garbage, and if you drink from there, it might seem crazy, but you might be crazy. So again, some of these missions were built because some people needed to travel through a night or a day, and they could stay there for the night. So, Fray Sierra, he founded a bunch of missions, including my mission, San Carlos Borromeo del Rio Carmelo. Carmel. And, um, so, and also, I really like this, um, because the, he was a saint. And a saint is basically, you need to have some miracles happen to you, like how Jesus made water into wine, and stuff like that. So, that's an example of a miracle. But this, I think, is really really miracleistic. I don't know if that's a word, but it's just, it seems unreal somehow. So one of his priests actually betrayed him, and his name is, um, this is not the priest that betrayed him. The main, uh, the second person I want to talk about is a saint, um, priest, uh, Borromeo, or Saint Borromeo. So one of the priests betrayed him one day, pull out, pulled out a gun, and shot at him. But the interesting thing is, 
he only got a bruise. It didn't go inside his body. And what uh, Saint, what Saint Bartholomew said was, God's hand. I could feel God's hand protecting me. So that's why I only got a bruise or something like that. So I thought that was really interesting because guns are made to like pierce through your head, pierce through your body, pierce pierce through your heart, and like the fact that he only got a bruise is just crazy. So missions were built in order to um change uh faith so like native indians native americans they would change faith faith into christianity and that's ba the basic definition of what missions were there were churches that allowed native americans and indians to change their faith to christianity so by changing their faith uh, they learned at the they learned at the missions how to farm, how to make uh, clothes, like Mexican-styled clothes. They learned how to carpent. They learned how to, um, I forget what it's called, but <clears throat> uh, like blacksmithing, carpenting, and just they learned a lot of farming stuff. They also um, got cows and cattle and things, other animals like sheep or wool. They uh, Mainly they like cows because they could stamp on them. And although it hurt, which is like, I don't think you could, you should stamp, but back then cows were really valuable because they could, you could get um, tallow, you could get fur for coats. And in the winters back then, um, in that mission, they were really cold and all the summers were really hot. So I think um, wool, uh, cow, um, fur was actually really important for uh, like wearing capes and just keeping your body warm while building the mission of uh, founding the mission so this mission is um it's in carmel valley and i don't live near there but you might want to go check it out because then you could um you could check out the mission and i don't exactly know the address you guys can search that up didn't include it in the book so i'm not gonna go on a, a computer and search up the exact address so um it's located in Carmel Valley, and usually the climate is in the winters. It's above um, in the winters. It's below sixty, and then the summers is just really hot there. And that's when they were building. I don't know if it's just still that climate um today, but I saw it in the book. So my job is to give you a report about it. So um, so. Missions were built in order to change the Native Americans, um, Native Indians into Christianity. So there were certain orders on how to on to build this mission. So first they built a chapel which had wood a wood roof, adobe brick walls, arches as doors, and as you can see, that's a lot of Mexican architecture. Next they built the living quarters. Which is where the, all the Native Indians would Native Americans would sleep work like do lumber carpent make clothes uh get animals gather animals be like trying to become a vaquero which in uh english is translated to cowboy so and the third thing they built the um they built the storehouse which was where they kept all their um things and fourthly they built their um they built their fort, which was to protect, like, the whole mission and, like, to fight off every single, like, almost all the opposing Native Americans, Native Indians, and all that, um, sort of stuff. So, um, I actually know exact dates for this one, but some missions, some people don't, I don't know the exact ones, but, like, some missions you don't know when it was built, when it was founded, but that's really high likely that they do know. So my mission was founded in 1770 and finished building in 1784. So Frazier was the founder of my mission in um, who, what, where, why, how, and when. So I did all the basic things, now I can get on to the bonus things. So I really like the end because it actually shows you how to make a, a miniature project of yours. And actually, um, in school, me I'm in fourth grade, and we're actually doing a big book project. So that's why I decided to give you guys this book review about it. Oh, that's my dog, sorry. And it's a big book, and I decided to, why not, just give a book review about it. So I have my mission over there, uh, San Carlos Borromeo, blah, blah, blah. 
and I didn't, well, the thing in the book shows how to make a 3D version, but this one has to be a 2D version because it's on a book. But I'm going to make it stick out a little, and um, I just think it's really beautiful. Um, sadly, I can't show it to you guys in this book review, but there's also some bibliography on the back of the book, which I don't have because I'm reading it in school, and I sadly cannot take it home. There's also some key dates, like when it was founded, when other missions were founded, when it was built. And there's said to be over like 10,000 animals, which I don't know how you can keep that. Because like, there was 10,000 animals in the whole like community of the mission. So there are also 600 people, 600 more. Well, 600, that's the about um, estimate that people were building, which was actually... It's a lot of people, so um, there's some bibliography on the back. It tells you more about the missions, and overall, I kind of like that book. I kind of liked it book. I kind of like the book. Uh, so the native Indian, the Native Americans were the Esseline, I think that's how you say it, and the Ohole. So. They both were the local Indians of the mission, and I just wanted to include that. So I hope you liked my book review. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll see you later.